Hi, welcome to our math. In this video, we are looking at inequalities. Um, this says, solve the following, leave your answer in interval notation. This cubic means we're looking for three solutions to this polynomial. Um, and I'm going to start off with it. If it was an equal sign, it would be pretty simple. Just factor or do one of our other myriad of tricks of solving. With an inequality, it's a little more complicated. I'm gonna start off pretending I have an equality because equalities are simpler. I'm gonna add the five over because you cannot solve until it equals zero. X cubed minus five X squared minus X plus five is greater than zero. And then with four terms, I'm going to try to solve by grouping, which is always the simplest. I can pull two x's out of the first two terms. I'm going to bring this sign down and pull out a negative one. If I factor out an x squared, I'm left with x minus 5. If I factor out a negative one, I'm left with an x minus 5. Because what is in the parentheses are the same. I write what's in the parentheses, x minus 5, and what's out of the parentheses, x squared minus 1. This is a difference of two squares, so I'm going to have x minus 5, x plus 1, and x minus 1. The reason the difference of two squares work is because we're looking for two numbers that multiply to a negative 1 and add up to 0, which is plus 1 and minus 1. All right, x minus 5 is 0 when x is 5 x plus 1 is 0 when x is a negative 1. x minus 1 is 0 when x is a positive 1. That would be it if I was solving this, but I have an inequality. So what I need to do is I need to look at a number line. And I'm going to put these stops in. A negative 1, 1, and 5. Yes, I put these in order. Uh, negative 1, 1, 5 with negative infinity to the left and positive infinity to the right. Okay, so what I need to do is, if I were to graph this, um, it would be some sort of curvy little graph, and it could have a turnaround point. Um, and I need to figure out what intervals, a whole interval is gonna be all negative or all positive, and I need to figure out what intervals are all negative, what intervals are all positive. If you know cubics well, you probably could see what's going to happen with the negative to positive to negative to positive. The more you know about functions and graphs, the easier this becomes. However, we're going to do this um, algebraically to really understand what's going on. I am going to take a number in this first interval, and I'm just going to take any number um, such as x equals negative 10 just something, some number there. And if I take x equals negative 10, I'm gonna look at these three numbers, my factors. And so negative 10 minus five is negative. And that's all I'm really looking at is if it's negative or positive. Negative 10 plus one is also negative. And negative 10 minus one is negative. A negative times a negative is positive. A positive times a negative is negative, which means everything, everything from negative infinity to negative one is negative. You can only change from negative to positive when you cross the axis, when you cross one of these points. So everything from here to here is negative. Okay, I'm gonna choose something in here. I'm gonna choose x equals zero. I like zero, it's simple. Um, zero minus five is negative. 0 plus 1 is positive. 0 minus 1 is negative. Negative times a positive is negative. Negative times a negative is negative. So these two become positive, and that one will stay positive. All in all, this is going to be positive. I'm going to choose something in here. Let's take, so we did x equals 0 here. Let's take x equals maybe 2, 4, 3. I don't, it doesn't really matter. Let's take 3. If we take x equals 3, 3 minus 5 is negative, 3 plus 1 is positive, 3 minus 1 is positive. 
These two are going to stay positive, but that one negative is going to force this whole thing to be negative. And then we're going to do something over here. Let's go with x equals 10. It could be 100, it could be 1,000, just something bigger than 5. Um, 10 minus 5 is positive. 10 plus 1 is positive. 10 minus 1 is positive. And they're all positive, so they're going to multiply out to be a positive. And we are looking for group positives. We're looking for something that is greater than zero, so we're looking for the positives. So the positives, and we don't have an equal sign, so all of our answers are going to be with parentheses if we want interval notation, which is what we were asked for right here. So we are going to do negative 1 to 1 joined with 5 to positive infinity. And there is our answer. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.